For our first film, we travel back to the TE20's heyday to see how the little tractor coped with gathering in the forage harvest. Silage was still a fairly new idea to many farmers, as it only rose to prominence during the Second World War. Prior to this, the main grass preservation technique was, of course, hay. So here it is, the fittingly named Silage Sense. positive drive, and stops for blockages are extremely rare. The complete team for in silage work comprises three men, one mower and two mounted buck rakes. One tractor begins cutting while the other starts collecting green crop almost immediately. In an hour or so, sufficient has been cut for the day. The mower... By the time our next film was shot, however, the TE-20 had been replaced by newer tractors. Despite this, the film is very special indeed as it celebrates possibly the TE20's finest hour. Three Ferguson tractors were used to make the first motorised overland trip to the South Pole in the winter of 1957 and 58. Produced by the New Zealand National Film Unit, this is a fascinating account of their epic journey, entitled, very appropriately, The Great Achievement. The purpose of our journey is to meet Dr. Fuchs, who's coming overland from the other side of the Antarctic continent. The rendezvous is Depot 700, that is, 700 miles from Scott Base and 500 miles this side of the South Pole. We're to lay two more depots for him and map out a course for him to reach Scott Base. We've expected this. The four dog teams are ahead of us and they've reported by radio more soft going.